Ding, 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 ding. Public service announcement. Have you seen that they're releasing Happy Meals for adults? Yeah, I have. And, and I've, me and Tob spoke about this the other day, and it's, it, it's bitterly disappointing. You're not happy with it? It's a Big Mac meal. It's a Big Mac. But does it come in the happy little packet? Correct. Well, then it's a happy meal. No, it's a Big Mac meal. They've packaged it up as a happy meal. So they give you a big, it's like, here's a Big Mac with fries and a drink in a box with a toy. So it's a happy meal. So it's a Big Mac meal. No, it's a happy meal because it's got the toy and it's in the happy box. So what's the difference? Well, you, if you buy a Big Mac, does that come with a toy? Yeah, so, right, so show me. Oh, that's making me hungry. Oh, okay, so there seems to be chicken nuggets there. There's a Big Mac, you're right. What sort of, so, so adult Happy Meal. What, a Big Mac, 10-piece chicken McNuggets, a drink. Twenty dollars. Yeah, see, this is do all. Do you remember when a, marketing? Do done. you remember when a burger meal, a McChicken meal, was like nine dollars? Now it's like sixteen. Dude, remember when cigarettes were like fucking nine dollars, eight dollars a packet? Nope. We do. Remember when going to the movies was eight dollars? What is it now? Thirty-four. Where I go to the movies by myself and spend sixty fucking bucks. Influ inflection, inflection. Yeah, it's inflection, definitely. No, what is it? No, what it's is inflection. It? It's what is the word? No, it's, it's an inflection on reflux. It's no, an inflection. no. What is the word? Inspection. What do you do? It's inspection. Fuck it's off. Inspection. What is the word? It's erection. Yeah, it's in rec it's in it's respection. No, it's gonna annoy me. Uh, it's infection. It's the economy. It gets really erect, <laughs> yeah. and then it gets it's like a big flaccid when it's in a bad flaccid. Area. So it's like no, it's gonna fuck me off till I remember. Yeah, yeah. It's inflection. Yeah, it's introspection. <laughs> I'm good. No, you, no so, you, had, you had it right the first time. Oh, yeah, inflection. Now I'm con now you're not convincing what, me. What happens? What happens to a uh, a, uh, a balloon? It inf Oh, inflation. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> it it infla inflation. I was close. <coughs> oh, sorry. But I was thinking of like an influx of people, an uh, influx of happy meals. Wait, I forgot what we were even talking about. Happy meals. Yeah, but the, what do you mean? That's the word I was thinking of. Oh, an influx. No, that seems to me like it's going to be ridiculous. I'm going to get one. Look, I'll, I'll get one. But twenty dollars is For the sake of steep. nostalgia, ten piece chicken ma chicken nuggets, Big Mac, large fries, large drink, twenty dollars feels like daylight robbery to me. They know that because it's all marketing. It's like when they do those fucking Travis Scott meals or whatever. You know how they do like in America they do like the Travis Scott McDonald's meal. Do they do it in Australia too? So like Travis Scott has his own meal, and it's like. How he'll ha it's like basically how he'll have his cheeseburger. So he's like, oh, I have it with extra pickles and fucking mayonnaise, and then they'll make it the Travis Scott meal and they sell it for like twenty dollars. What would your meal be if you pa packaged up the Jarchi meal? The, the Jarchi meal. If you want to know the Jill, you want to know the Jill. I want to know the Jill. The Jill would be a large double quarter pounder meal, right, with a Big Mac or a McChicken on the side, and two sides of McChicken sauce. Sweet and sour sauce. No, no, McChicken mayonnaise sauce. Oh. So what I do is I put one of them on the double quarter pounder, close it up, on the quarter pounder, close that up, and then I use the other McChicken sauce for chip dipping because yep. the mayonnaise is off its fucking head. Mm -hmm. It's got so a lot of sugar in it. That's why it's so good. Everything in McDonald's has sugar in it. Yeah. Additives. So my theory is that when you go to Macca's, don't go there to get a salad and shit. Go there and go all out. Enjoy yourself. Because you shouldn't be eating it every day. You know what I mean? So that's why I go so fucking hard when I go to Macca's. Oh, do you know if I was to make a... Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. See you, Tom. Bye, just interrupting Tom. the fucking podcast, mate. See you, mate. Tom just left, everyone, if you were wondering. Yeah, so Tom yeah. left. Uh, if what, I was to make a... What's the Leal, the Lou meal? Well, I'm going to be a bit cheeky here and I'm going to add in a few fast food places. No. This is, no, this is all hypothetical. There's no rules to making the Leal. Lu Louisa. There's no rules to the Leal. Louisa, we're talking about... Mc if you went to McDonald's and they were selling a Louisa... No, no, no. It's and not going to... No, 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 next door. No, no, no. If, they, if they're doing them, they just play within the confines of the game. Who? It doesn't I make made sense. the game. Doesn't make I made sense. the game. Well, the game makes no sense. Well, I what made the What would your game. McDonald's meal be then? Do your KFC one. What would your I'm McDonald's having them as one. You can't. I made the game. This is my rules. I reckon we've got plenty of time. You can do Maccas. Yeah, do both. And then you can do, do both. Okay, fine. After. So mine would be... Thanks, um, Will. Thank you, Willie. Thanks so much for mediating us. 
Um, mine would be a Diet Coke. Sorry, a Coke Zero. <laughs> it would be a double Big Mac. Yep. It would be uh, <laughs> basically just like what this is. A McChicken with extra pickles. You're going double burgers too. Yep. And then it's going large fries and then a little bag of, you know how you get the little biscuits? Have you had the biscuits from I have, but not for fucking. Are they still really good. Do they still have Grimace and fucking yep. Hamburglar? They're really and good. And Ronald McDonald's? Yep. Really? They've got the yep. whole crew. And then now that we're creating my game has rules that I'm not allowed okay, to Okay, now do combine. your stupid game that makes zero sense. Well, whatever. The Leal from KFC would be Wicked Wings, Zinger Burger, double potato and gravy, double chips with extra seasoning. Oh, so, no, I thought you were going to combine Maccas and KFC into one meal. Oh, That's the whole point of the Leal, but you didn't let me at my own game. Yeah, it did, didn't make any sense. Also, reach out either of them sense. if you want to sponsor the show. Yeah, we love KFC and Maccas. Correct, we do. A lot. A, a lot. We wouldn't mind a free Happy Meal. A, fr- a free meal. Yeah. Actually, tw- come to think of it, $20 it's, is a very reasonable very, pri- price. Very, I'd say that's cheap. It's <laughs> <laughs> incredibly cheap if you ask me. <laughs> oh, mate. My laugh at the moment um, is that of a, of a 70-year-old uh, woman working in a tuck shop at a, in a regional town. It's not good. I'm not healthy still. Or a man who smoked 40 Winnie Blues a day. Correct. It's it's still not healthy. It's sounding better than the other day. I'm feeling a bit better, but I'm still, like if I laugh or if I... Well, if I, I guess t- you're in the wrong place then. Because <laughs> I'll be making you laugh. <laughs> not a chance. Not, not, a, not a fucking chance, mate. Um, th- th- I'm still coughing up a lot of phlegm. When you texted me this morning and you said, oh, I'm all good at phlegm, I, I, I giggled. I, do you know why I knew that would make you giggle? Because I knew for a fact you had no idea how phlegm was spelled. <laughs> and you know that's true. <laughs> when I smell phlegm, I go, that G's going to really fucking throw it. Oh, it threw that- me. <laughs> it threw me. <laughs> I, knew it. I, I literally, in my head, <laughs> thought it was P-H-L-M-E, phlegm. Fl- yeah, phlegm. Yeah, Flame. when you put the G in, I was like, uh, "That's wrong." Bruh, kid. I honestly, that give is it. wrong, kid. And then I clicked on it, and I went, "He's dead right." Yeah, he's dead right with the flam. I, I I fucking typed it, knowing I knew that'd throw you. <laughs> I read it and was like, <laughs> "That's a funny word, isn't it?" I think I even texted What's flegum? back saying, "That's a funny word." Oh, is phlegm is phlegm bad? Like, yeah, you've got phlegm. Oh no, you have got a disease. It's phlegm. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm slowly getting there. I got a wedding this weekend, so I'm just trying to really rest up this week. It's on today is the wedding. Correct, it is on today. <laughs> nice, because we're recording this live into yes. your headphones. Oh, we're here in the studios while you're watching. Um, yeah, dude, I, I like, you, the worst thing about when you're getting a bit crook is you can't do shit. You know, I've got the fight coming up in fucking mm, you April. You can't box. Can't, I can't train. Because you just got to get, you got to rest. I got to get better. Like when I run up the stairs or do something, I'm up the stairs and I'm puffing. I told you, you got to go to the doctor and get antibiotics. Nah, my body's getting over it by itself, dude. I don't want to fucking do that shit. But it's not that bad. You just take it a is. probiotic and you, it hurts, sorts your tummy. Dull, you get a, you get a uh, mild graze in your chin and you're like, this is turning septic. I need to fucking go to the ER. Yeah, yeah, I am I, the opposite. I literally went to the ER. I know. After slicing my finger. I know. Whereas you and me, but you and me on the opposite opposite ends of the scale. Uh, of the, no, of the I'm spectrum. close to you. Physically right now you are in terms of the spectrum. In many ways, we differ. <laughs> but in in the spectrum, in the spectrum of uh, hypochondria, you are on the hypochondria side. I do side. feel I'm like a, it's more of a female thing, though. Well, don't be sexist. I'm so sorry. Overuse and misuse of antibiotics cause antibiotic resistance. Yes, they do. You can help combat this global we health problem by taking reading. these drugs only when your provider says it's necessary. This no. is why. Speak to your doctor, guys. I'm looking yeah. straight into the guys. camera. Speak to your doctor. Don't listen to us from Google. Yeah, don't listen to uh, renowned medical journals written by doctors. How do you know? That came from the Cleveland Clinic. Correct. How do you know the cl- who wrote it from the Cleveland Clinic? A medical professional. How do you know? Well, this is actually very well known. They've spoken about this many times, like on the news, to get people to stop going and getting antibiotics like you. Every time because you build resistance. I don't get it every time. I'm just saying if you'd like to get better faster, 
perhaps see a doctor. I'd rather just... He might not even tell you. She, he might tell you not to get (laughs) antibiotics. Yeah. So fuck it. I'm not going. Okay. And I seem to be getting better, don't I? You do have a bit more of a pep in your step. A bit more of a pep in my step. Is that because of your new gibbets on your Crocs? Oh, I've got fancy new Crocs. Who's very very clear, aren't you? But I was at your house today and you had a little Kevin and you didn't put him on. Haven't put him on. Are you going to mix them around? I'll mix them up, mix them around. I've got some Crocs that I don't wear and I've got a little Toby if you'd like to put that on your Crocs. Have you? Why don't you wear your Crocs, buddy? I'm not a, much of a Crocs girl. Really? I gave them a hoon Didn't for a while. Didn't they get cool because the Kardashian wore them? No, I gave them a hoon for a while. Yeah. But then I just got so many other shoes, they weren't getting a run. Darling. No, Jack, it's oh. it's it's too hard to pick which pair to wear. And how many pairs? Like, it's, you know, which sandals am I going to wear today? It's... Oh. It's it's tough. No, you influence people, doll, so you shouldn't feel guilty about this, no, but you have just so much... Because you get sent them, babe. That's not your fault. I actually did get sent my Crocs. <laughs> did ya? Yeah. I, some, my old management was like, yeah, Crocs fucking going to send us all Crocs, and they're like, pick a pair you want. And, um... Well, you don't have any on. Whoa. I pick Yeah, I picked camo, and they just never came, and I'm like, did it just... Did I just open a letter and think nothing was in there? <laughs> 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 Back to you in the, the studios, studio. Mike. Mike. <laughs> and coming up next, the rabbit who can jump as high as three metres. <laughs> You've been drinking again, haven't you? I have. Now, where have you just come from? I've just come from another podcast, so I've already been speaking for an entire hour. Well, you're very clever, aren't you? I am. Now, whose podcast did you go and do? I was on Frenchie and to- Tomos. Now, they're good boys, aren't they? They're very clever boys, aren't they? Now, did you have fun, didn't you? I had lots of fun, thank you. And what have you been doing? Mate, can I be honest with you? Sweet fuck all. I, because I can't do much. Well, I've, we had fucking three meetings this morning. We filmed a video for you. Feels like I saw you like yesterday. That I, doesn't it, feel it, like that. It was like four hours ago. It, correct. But it doesn't feel like today. It doesn't. And then Steph got home finally. And so I was like, oh, babe, probably no hugging. Yeah. Because I'm a bit Just fucking. fucking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Personal life to yourself, please. So, so you've been um, away for a few days. Yeah, correct. And Mundi, Papa was, hey, Daddy was hungry. All right. so, and in this situation, let me clarify. Yeah, I'm Daddy. By the way, thank you, thank you so much for that. Now, now listen up. What? So then, while you're doing that running around, I was like, I'm just gonna lay down, <clears throat> get admin done. So I laid down. Um, emails, fucking getting all, you know, you always got to analytics and send them to fucking, mm. come, blah, 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 did that, wrote a country song, Ooh. Yeah, which well, I'm not, we're not talking about nothing, did that, um, and then came into the studio and did some work with the boys, oh, just waiting for you to come in. Lovely. It was, it's been good, it's been a good day, but I'm half fucked. You just need to rest. Yeah. You know what they say, sleep is please, the, please, please, of the biotics of biotics. health. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good inflation. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, I went for a run the other day, right? No. Oh, Willie. What did you do? I, I went for a, I, went, I ran ten k's with Ned Brockman. What? Mm. Huh? You haven't mentioned it si- in, since doing that. So how would we know? Oh, well, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you guys. I went for a run with Ned Brockman. So I was up at four twenty five right. the other morning. Yeah. So now my body it just I'm a superhuman. So I'm I've adjusted to that early time. Frame. Oh, just so, by one one day. Of so I, I woke up very early this so morning. So what time do you wake up? Uh, my body clock woke me up at five ten. Your body clock. Yeah. After one after one time yep. of getting up from the alarm, you now have got a yeah. body clock that wakes you up at five ten. It feels it hits stiff. Hits stiff, does it? Yeah. So what do you do when you wake up? Oh, well, I actually put on my LED mask, which is this red light that makes you hot. Oh, so two fifths of fuck. Well, fuck, it didn't do its Excuse job. Excuse me. It didn't do its fucking Excuse job. Excuse me. Wait, we talking hot Excuse temperature me. wise? Temp-wise or aesthetically? Because if it's aesthetics, I'd return the mask, kid. If it made you hot, heat-wise, keep it, kid. <laughs> You're a good kid, kid. <laughs> well, if you notice the, com- the comments Just, now, no. when you're going on a run, you're a hell of a runner, kid. <laughs> you want to be able to do that Ed, when you were eight years old, kid? kid. <laughs> Brockman's yeah. a good kid, kid, for That's taking you on a run, merch. kid. That's the next merch. You're a good <laughs> you're kid, You're a hell kid. of a kid, kid. Harry Joffick should get... My, man, my mate Harry Jovic should get paid dividends from that because that we'll is something we would just. We'll chuck a couple of merch drops. 
We'll send you a merch pack. And, Sorry, guys. And five hundred dollars. Yeah, we'll sling, we'll sling you something, Joff, because we'll you, you deserve something. you deserve that. Because you're that a good a, kid, kid. That's our creation, kid, and that's you're a hell of a kid. 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 But back to what I was you're doing. Sorry, this darling. Morning. Yeah, yeah, go. So I put on my LED mask, which makes me hot, looks wise, not temp. Yeah. And then I, I meditated, not to little John, to Joe Dispenza. Who's Joe Dispenza? He's this. He's write lots of. He writes lots of uh, books, and um, he does really good meditations. Oh, isn't his cousin Pill Dispenza? Isn't it? Who was his? Fuck. Who was his mum? Was it Cookie Dispenza? His mum. No. No, his dad was Cola Dispenser. I think Coke Dispenser. Wasn't it? <laughs> Come on. That's him. That's Joe Dispenza. So he was speaking to me in my ears for 16 minutes this morning. And then I thought, well, by golly gosh, it's time to get out of bed. So I was pounding the pavement of Bondi by six. I think I've seen him before. His cousin's called Pez. <laughs> Willie with the win. <laughs> Those are those. How little, did I the, not think of Pez? Those are the little head ones, aren't they? Yes, buddy. I love Pez. Pez dispenser. Yeah. Everyone loves a little head. Oh. Um, Jack. No, on the Pez dispensers. Everyone loves a little bit of head. I know where you're thinking. I love Pez dispensers. So do I. And I used to have a head. Pikachu one. Did you? Yeah. Did it used to Pikachu? It did. <laughs> <laughs> Too many puns. That's we're my fault. We're at the time <coughs> oh, oh, I'm feeling fancy. Give me a riddle. A riddle? Yeah. What, wait, you want me to make one up? Yeah, give me a riddle and I'll guess it. Well, that's how riddles work. You want me to make, okay, hold on. Because you're quite creative. You could make your own riddle. Hold on. I think you have in the past. Or Willie, you give us a riddle. I just went to the site, it has 101 best riddles, and the first one is pretty shit. Yeah, that's oh. what I've tried. We've tried to do this before, and they are shit. What has to be broken before you can use it? Mirror. What, why would a mirror be broken before you can use it? It's just the first thing that came to my head, so I yelled it out. A horse. No. A saddle. What? Don't what? just fucking come on. Get, <laughs> 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 Mongrel. Say it again. I, it went through one ear and out the other. What has to be broken before you can use it? A heart. Oh, it feels very sad, doesn't it? What it has, has to be to broken, be broken before, you use before you can use it? You've got to break in a horse. I mean, surely that's a good enough answer. It has to be broken before you can <gasps> A note. No. Run me through that. Well, because like you... Come on. No. Yep. No, th- I want to know your thoughts. You know, thoughts. like, because... When you break a note... Yeah, so you go to the cashier <coughs> and you've got to break it because you need change back. That's where my brain went. But you're using the note to break it. Aren't you? A cashier. Okay. <laughs> Would you like an answer? Yes. An egg. Oh. oh of course, Jesus Christ. Okay, these are... Oh, that's a great segue. Tell the bedwetters what you did this morning, you sick fuck. Well, no, it's one of my red light green lights. But well, I want to okay. know it now. Well, red light, green light. Drinking raw eggs. Is that the most itch thing you've ever heard? Green. Thank you, Willie. Sorry, so you're just cracking. <laughs> She's spoiled. Let, sorry, let me paint a picture for you. Paint one. You're a bit sick. <laughs> you you strut down from the man cave. You've got the Star Wars hat on. You go, <laughs> shit. i got a meeting at Lou's in 12 minutes and I live up the top of all clues. i got to rush down to Lou's. Mm. You throw on... You throw on some CC Canterbury shorts and you go, shit, I can hear my puku rumbling. That's your tummy. Yeah, it sounds like moot, but yep, let's just move forward. Fuck. So you go, I don't have time to scramble these eggs. I don't have time to poach these eggs. I don't have time to boil these eggs. I'm going to chuck these in a, in a shake. No. In a man shake. No, no, no. Okay, I'm going to chuck these in a glass. Yeah. I'm going to swivel them around and get a fork and mix them. <coughs> no. No mixture. Sorry, so you're telling me that the, the yolk, mm. you can feel the bulb go down your throat. That, that is correct. I just I got know, shivers. I thought you'd be used to bulbs down your throat. I'm not, so yes, that I can do it. But Jack. Except for, don't you drink raw eggs? Uh, you know I don't like yolk. Oh, of course. Sorry, so I continue, just, sweet angel. Well, I thought you'd at least be... Sh- well, I, well, I won't do that. <laughs> I thought you'd at least be shaking that. Just some bloke yolk. Some, yeah. How many eggs are you... Oh, <laughs> No, we need a female producer. 
Where's Black HR? Yolk. Well, 2024, it can be arranged. Black yolk. <laughs> well, Black yolk is tremendous. Doing? How many are you doing? Oh, so I put mine into my protein shake. And that That's a bit up. different because you're blending. And you no, shake see, it. I put one in a glass. I did four. I put one in a glass at a time, and I gulp it. One gulp, crack, crack, dip, gulp, crack. I don't dip, think gulp. more eggs are that good. Oh, that's a lie. No, you have there's a, cake. a chance you can get some, and I don't from them. I've been doing it for. Oh, so that's like you're basically just eating raw chicken. Well, uh, no. Well, yes, so, but there's less of a chance in an egg, I believe. But it's um. How much? No, I just drink them. It's just a, I've been doing this since I was at uni. If I don't have time, if I'm in a rush, it is literally a good breakfast. You've always said this. Well, you've always said that food to you is fuel. Like correct. you're not much of a foodie. I, you're I just like food. eating it to, to be fueled. Uh, correct. You're, you're a technically a car. The petrol you're putting in your car is the food you're putting in your body. Yes, yes. Not the first time the analogy has been made between fuel and, uh, and food petrol. being fuel. Uh-huh. It is, uh, but I do like, look, I'm not, I don't, I'm not into fancy food. You just like steak and potatoes. Correct, burgers and shit. You know what I mean? It can cause diarrhea, fever and stomach cramps. You had any of those today? Nothing, bro. Felt no shits? Felt red hot. Are you sure, little grubby guts? Don't little try and bring guts? the stinky stuff onto me, gassy guts. Don't, <laughs> little gassy guts. Oh, stinky Lou. No. Yeah, this stuff, a crop dust in the stews. You know the comments on the run with Ned and I, people going, crop dusting Sydney, 10Ks at a time. Dude, in that video, when you were running down, there was like a, there was, you were running down a road and I think there were like elm or oak, oak trees um, lining both sides of the road. And as, I, as you and Ned were running, you were a bit behind Ned, he was in front, thank Christ. Because like, obviously there was a draft and I literally watched the, le- the leaves brown as you ran through <laughs> Oh, fucking stinky Lou just cropped us in the street. A, d- a person was walking like this, and I literally saw crosses come over their eyes. They went, Bink! And they fell down <laughs> stiff, stiff dead. Like it's a car, too. Yeah, stiff dead. Yeah. Oh, so you're good a naughty stuff. little kid, kid. So, yeah, I do. I don't know, Bed Wetters, you ever fucking done that? It's you, a, if look, you're look. short for time, scramble you, scram your eggs in the microwave. No. Why? This is so much quicker. But if you feel like tasting something... D- don't. Th- didn't. Didn't have time. Got to yours with, what, three minutes to spare? Two. Because I just went glob, glob, glob. Literally threw four eggs, boom, down. Grabbed a handful of um, green beans from the fridge. Because I'm in there. Just ate them as I was running out. <laughs> crunchy beans. These crunchy and cold. And I was like, no, that'll do. You make me sick. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you make me violently sick. <laughs> Same as what you should be after those eggs. <laughs> i got to say, if you died and they did an autopsy on you, the doctor's finding that in your stomach would be very odd. Let me give you a tip. They'd find much worse fucking they, things they than would. eggs and fucking green beans, mate. Yeah, so they would. I think, I think they'd go, oh, unless you tried to have a healthy brekkie mixed in with all of the shit. Fuck me swinging. Especially now I've been crook cunt. I have been deep throating every fucking vitamin and yeah. pill and fucking don't do too much of shit. that because i think the overdosing is not i think it like well <laughs> ask Jimi hendrix he overdosed and he died no do yeah of vitamins you say that podcast with fucking you say that with theo von the podcast he was doing with eddie what's his name and eddie Hearn? Who? <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I love Eddie Hearn. He's so funny. No, it wasn't Eddie Hearn. It was, um, he's like a Eddie jiu-jitsu. Murphy. Eddie Simpson from Hello Sport? Breathe, Jack. Just breathe and believe. Ned Flanders? I'll start Because he's also an Ed. <laughs> Edward Scissorhand? <laughs> Edward the Eighth? Eddie Bravo? Eddie Bravo. Johnny's cousin. Right. So he was fucking doing it with Eddie Bravo. And Eddie Bravo is telling him this yarn. And it was like a serious yarn. He tried to fucking commit suicide. He's like, yeah, man, I was fucking... He's like, I tried to kill myself by eating vitamins. So I just fucking OD'd on fucking vitamins. And Theo goes, what did you get? Just better? <laughs> <laughs> Such a quick fucking line. What did you but get? He does, just better? The thing about him, like, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't actually know, but is that he doesn't real... Well, speak on it then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know. <coughs> Great way to start a comedy. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Um, he doesn't realise he's being funny. That's the whole point of him, right? No, he does. Oh. I think he does, but the way his brain works is so different 
to, right. to, to everyone else's. He is so unique that right. he's thought, I think he knows that it's funny, but yes, it doesn't seem like he. Same with Carl Pilkington. Pilkington. Carl, Carl Pilkington doesn't know that he's being funny. He is just an enigma. Because mm. he's not a stand up comic. Carl was a radio producer. Now, I've never known any other radio producers in any of the time slots. Not one of them. Um, Carl Ooh. was a radio. Sorry, mate. You have said. Right? Do you. S- Radio producer. Sorry, my ears just pricked up. No, no, no. I've never known. You said radio producers. Correct. I've never to ever go into anything else. Like breakfast, uh, morning, afternoon drive. Never known any one of them. Um, Well, breakfast radio. (laughs) (laughs) How long do you reckon? Do you reckon we've lost a few followers from that joke? Uh, Yeah, I just checked our analytics. (laughs) Um, (laughs) It's all from the breakfast radio gang. (laughs) Um. Well, I want to tell you a fu- funny story that happened to me the yeah. other day when I was in Yamba. Fucking, so we were going out, we are putting these crab pots out and we are getting like muddies and blue swimmers and shit and having a fun little time. Oh, actually, no, we were fishing. Me and my wa- mate Wally Davidson and my brother Pilgs, Hot Will, go and fish them. Of course they have nicknames. So we will fucking, um, so we go out there and we're just having a little fish, like just fucking wetting some lines, mostly just drinking a couple of lung busters. Enjoying the, enjoying the day, the you know. The reason you're sick, mate. Oh, this was a few. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So I was treating myself, though, having fun. Anyhow, this fucking boat drives by with a family on it. Family of fucking probably six of them on the boat. All wearing cutters. Like, so all wearing, like, you know, Cobras, stained to Cobras, blue work shirts. I'm like, okay, boat of bushies. They're bushies. Locals. There you go. Not locals. Oh. Bushies, like country, country folk. So they drive past and I'm like, fucking, they wave and we wave or whatever. They swing back. And the dad goes, he goes, oi. I said, here you going? He goes, me bloody sons reckon you're that bloke on bloody TikTok. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, mate, I think so. He goes, yeah, he goes, Damon, it fucking is, that's him. Yeah, young bloke wants to ride your missus. No, sorry. Sorry, let me correct myself. Young bloke says he wants to plough your missus. Plough is what he's used as he yells this to me. <laughs> okay. I didn't hear. I went, because I didn't, couldn't really hear him. So I sort of go, ha ha, all right, hooroo. And then we're fishing and Wal goes, um, that guy just say he wanted to plough your missus? And I'm like, is that what he said? He goes, I think he did say. He said How the young fella. was the kid? Well, I'm not sure. So like anyway, roughly? we have a big giggle. We piss out. Well, I couldn't really say. Mm-hmm. You know, and so we have a giggle. I'm like, that's a fucking funny thing to just yell at someone. It's hilarious. Like, fuck, it just made us laugh. And that the dad said it as well. The dad saying it for (laughs) the kid. He reckons he wants to play your missus. Anyway, so we we go back and there was contention on how much fuel we had, but my old hot wheel was like, no, we got plenty. We'll be fucking sweet. We're just going to the bridge. We're out there for longer than we thought. Turns out we run out of fuel. Hot well. So we're doing this thing where we've got the other fucking tank and we're having to like, I'm having to do this to get all the fuel out of the tank into, to siphon it into the other tank so we can fucking whatever. Anyway, we get it going again and we, um, and we fucking get into like the, um, the lip where it basically goes into all the fucking um, inlets, you know what I mean, where all the houses are. We run out. Oh, thank fuck we're in here, but we're like a fucking hell rider. Get the oars, so we start oaring. We've run out of fuel. And so that's You're quite a, a funny thing that people see. Anyhow, lo and behold, who's out having beers on their jetty? But the fam. Amazing. Now, they've doubled in, in size from this point. Now, okay. Obviously, not all of them went out fishing. All of them still wearing blue work shirts. Amazing. It's like an army. There's <laughs> like 12 of these fuckers. And they're like, mate, we'll tell you in, we'll tell you in. I'm like, yeah, no worries. Anyway, <laughs> I fucking... I jump up onto the onto the jetty and say thanks for this shake because they gave us beers. They're like, you want beers? I'm a fucking oath. We'd love a beer. We're cracking beers and talking. I'm like, I think it was Damon. I'm like, so which one's which one is Damon? And they're like, they all start laughing. I said, which one of you wants to play on my missus? And then I look and there's this kid. I don't know. I don't know what age Damon was. I apologise to you, mate. I couldn't have been. Look, he was having a grog. It couldn't have been more than 15 or 16 mm. years old. And so I walk up. I'm like, you want to play on my missus, do you? And he was like, oh. Um, <laughs> uh. And I said, mate, which room do you sleep in? And he goes, um, up there. And I go, 
just know that when you wake up tonight, I'm going to be standing over you, boy, watching you sleep. <sighs> like, just me in the car. Just fucking with it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we had a good laugh. That and then is such a good yarn. I just thought it was funny that Damon, number one, said that he wanted to plow my missus, and number two, that the dad felt was, that necessary to relay that to me. The dad throwing him under the bus is the best uh, part. Correct. It well, is. he threw him under the boat. <laughs> <laughs> don't, well, re- don't laugh at that. No, because it's not appropriate. that would well, be Well, it's horrible. just, it's child abuse, throwing them under that the boat. That would just be despicable. It's not, what we, it's not what we want. No, Jack. No, you, Lewis, you're right. Uh, no, Willie, let's cut, cut. No, we're cutting that. R- write it down, Willie. I've written it down, it's oh, cut. Good. Thanks, mate. Oh. Well, I don't know where to go from here. Well, where do you want to go? Well, well, away from here. Well, okay. We'll take a walk. Well, you take a walk. I've had enough. No, I've had enough. <laughs> I just, I couldn't pick which shoes to wear. You it's went for the Gucci loafers. So you've gone Gucci loafers, $45,000 Rolex. Oh, what's that thing? What's that tennis bracelet worth? 20, 20 grand? And what's this piece of shit outfit? Fuck off. This outfit's probably Fuck off. worth $14,000, but looks like it's straight from Kmart. That is, is despicable. despicable. Don't, Don't you copy, copy me. me. My, my name's, name's Jack, Jack and, and I'm, I'm a, a fucking loser. loser. You're very, very good, good at that, that, aren't you? But you're yeah, a stupid little, little boy, boy, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Are those Gucci loafers? Yes. Are those Gucci Crocs? What Crocs? <laughs> Stop. Should we do red light, green light? Yes. Red light, green light. Red light, green light. Sorry. Oh. Yep. You there? Yep. Eating shredded chicken on the way home from the supermarket on a walk. So you've got some chicken from the deli and you've just taken off the little sticker. Okay, so let me guess. You've eaten shredded chicken on the way home from the supermarket. I'm just checking if anyone else does that. I would argue that's a green. Do you think? Because picture you walking past someone and they've just got a little... A little, plast- a little plastic bag just dipping their fingers in with chunks of shredded chicken. Don't you think wouldn't bother me. Don't you think that there'd be a small party that would go? Mm. No, because I quite often get deli meats and would eat You're them. You're munching on ham on the Walk- way home. Or twiggy sticks. I think there's something diff about chicken. I, dif- I, di- I disagree. <laughs> well, I differentiate from the chicken and well, the twiggy. Big, it's a big word. Hey. She learning. Inflation. Inflection. Inflation of Inflection. the chicken. But there's something about shredded chicken, it's quite a grubby, messy meat. You know, so you're putting your hand and it's kind of going everywhere. I just thought if someone drove past and goes, hey, there's Lou, and I'm downing shredded chicken from this little plastic bag, people would go, hmm. Yeah, but I, I would also argue you have quite a, uh, a healthy social conscience in terms of the perception that you want put out there. So I doubt highly um, that you would be putting your hand in there, ripping it out and going like this. I think you'd be going like this, like a normal human. And eating shredded chicken. You, I, you, di- you, I disagree. You're disagreeing. So Lulu's getting handfuls of chicken and just whatever gets in the mouth gets in. And if it falls down yep. onto the Gucci loaves, no, no problem, mate. Eh? Not a prob, kid. I wonder what that was on your fucking loafers. Shredded <laughs> chick. Yeah. It's Shrek. Mummy went to Coles before this. So when did Mummy do this? Uh, for the bedwetters listening at home, I'd really love clarification. Please. Louise's Mummy, by the way. This was yesterday. Right. Was it yesterday or was it today? God, the days are blurring into one. <laughs> <laughs> We're just flat out. Oh, well, no, we, we are. Yeah. So are you, are you going to sit there and tell me and Willie, look us both in the, in the eyes and say that uh, – your hand full in it. How hungry say, was mummy? I was starving. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say the ratio was 70 to 30. 70% handfuls, 30% picking. What? Wait. So I think sometimes she went in for the full grab into yeah. the mouth, and other times she was a little more delicate with the portion size. I see. When I thought people would be in p- vision of me. I was a little bit more delicate, and then when I thought no one's around, I was oh, okay, shoveling like eight year old. Yeah, boy. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still green with it. Oh well, I'm happy with it because I'll continue think, to do it. So you're obviously green. You've done it. Well, I I do it. I think that's I love fu- a little really? deli meat. That's play on. Hundred percent oh, green. Thanks, God. Well, this is a safe space. That's so why I had to bring it up. No, Lou. No. You like imagine if you, the chicken was spoiled by the time you got home. 
that's exactly what went through my brain. And I thought, you know, I've got my to-do list when I get home. And I didn't factor in eating shredded chicken out of the packet. Well, off the back of yours, you sweet little brown angel. That is fake, by the way. Um, Now, I've got one off the back of that that's hit me. Square between the middle of the eyes. Go, please. This is what we're all about, you know. Content flows. Red light, green light. Taking a burrito into a cinema. This is so something that you would do. So I have done this. When Say, let me paint a little picture. (laughs) We haven't painted a picture for a while. We haven't painted pictures for a while. It feels good. Let me get my Salvador Dali on. Let me paint a little picture. Please go forth, Play-Doh. I'm in, I'm in Westfield. <laughs> Westfield Bondi Junction. Okay. I'm in a big Westfield. There's an event cinemas in there. Right, ne- right next to the pictures. Well, I know. There's a deluxe. I've got Guzman Go Mas Burrito on my fucking car, ca- my keychain. There's a Guzzy Go. All right. There's a GG. There's a G. There's a Guzzy Go next to the pixies. This next to the pickies. I go up there knowing I'm gonna get snacks, irrespective of of the of the Guzzy Go. It's going to be hidden in some sort of a, pa- a backpack or a pocket or hidden with the snacks. Just shove it down your pants. So what I'll do is I'll go, not a, not a lot of room in there, sister. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> no, I just wear skinny jeans. Yeah. No, I'm aware. I can. Yeah. Tiny cock. Yeah, I know. I've got a goosey go. All right. I've got a Cali burrito. Cali burrito, you ask? There's chippies in it already. Yeah. Some hot fries. You think I haven't gone the extra guac and sour cream? You're out of your mind, kid. So it's a fat. What I'm trying to paint. I'm trying to paint the picture. It's, it's a, a big burrito. It's a fat burrito. It's a big burrito. It's it's a healthy burrito. Oh yeah. Little chance of you walking in with a healthy burrito in your hand, and the teenager at the front desk going, "Run me through that, kid." I then dip into the the snack section of Event Cinemas Bondi Junction. Talk us through what you're getting there. I'm getting a large poppy. Oh yeah, and that's a popcorn. Some Maltese. I'm getting some. I'm I'm then getting a packet of Twisties, Ooh. which I mix with my popcorn. That's right. I then get a large drink of some kind. So when I'm getting to pay, there's a lot going on. Mm. I'm going. Yep, yeah, I'll just chuck that. Yeah, mate. It's just the large, but the burrito's in there somewhere. <laughs> Thanks for the ticket. Now, I've got a lot of stuff. Oh, They're assuming, yeah. oh, this guy must be going to the pictures with someone. No, no. I'm riding, I'm Han Solo, kid. Daddy's going solo. And this ain't a Star Wars movie. Get to the front desk. The kid sees how flustered I am with all the shit I've got in my fucking hands. He's like, this, guy, this, this kid needs to get into that cinema. Quick smart. Pronto. Takes the tick quick. Doesn't look at anything that I've got in my hands. Let's me go through. Next thing you know, I'm unwrapping that foil through the trailers. Deep throating a healthy, healthy Cali Burrits. The smell is wafting throughout the cinema. People know. Oh, yeah. Pe- pe- people know. Everyone knows. So they that a red the, or a... They call you the Guzzy Go Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> they knew you were coming. <laughs> they, they just call- they turn a blind eye to the Guzzy Go Hunter. The Guzzy Go Hunter. They just know the Guzzy Go cunt- Hunter's coming through. The Guzzy Go what? Guzzy Go Hunter. Guzzy Go Cunt Hunting. <laughs> 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 ay, ay, ay. Oh, ay, 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 senorita. I've never seen a greener green. In that green. Oh, no. It's okay. I fixed it. Are you wearing underpants? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Thank fuck. We'll have to pre- preface to the bed with what's going on. Do you want me to get that towel? No. <laughs> <laughs> Your tan's leaking. Stop. <laughs> I'm wearing it. A- oh, I just looked. Can you see anything? I don't <laughs> want to answer the question, Lou. I'm wearing a dress with a lot of buttons, and for some reason they're popping. Mummy's butts are popping. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen a full word in the last four minutes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now You're a good guzzy go hunter, kid. Thanks, kid. <laughs> Willie, are you, can I just tell you what, the only reason that I feel red while I'm doing it is if I haven't got if I've had if sometimes I want to save the the the, the burrito for, for when the picture starts, so I'll be enjoying my little snacks as the trailers go through. A lot of times movies start quite quietly. Now when you're unwrapping foil in a quiet cinema, mm. shit fucking bounces off the walls, mate. It echoes, and I feel like cunts are judging me. I think the smell would be more what would be, people go. Is, I, that, is that? Hang on, am I correct in saying? The Guzzy Go Hunters in this cinema? Yeah, look. Yeah. 
If you yeah, if you're in event cinemas, Bondi Junks, and you smell you smell burritos, it's very likely it's me. Yeah. Someone just stands up and goes, "Is that Jarch in here?" <laughs> <laughs> and then the whole the whole cinema clears out, and they go, "Fuck, Lou's just walked in, old stinker." Well, that, here goes the movie. <laughs> there goes the film. Next thing you know, Westfield Bondi Junction just covered in one of those huge tents. They've had, to sh- they've had to fumigate the entire... It's a biohazard. The entire complex. And you're just sitting in there and there's cunts with hazmat suits like robots. And you're spraying just going, I'm so me. sorry. Spraying me? You're spraying you. And you go, stand afar and go... <laughs> <laughs> and you're going, oh, just, it just ha- sometimes it happens. I'm so sorry. And sometimes it just... I, cr- I dust these crops. You know? <laughs> I'm a good sport for letting this joke continue. <laughs> You're a hell of a kid, kid. I am a hell of a kid, kid. You're a good kid. Kid, kid, kid. All right, hit me with another ready, kid. That was very funny, Josh. <laughs> it's kid. You're a funny kid, kid. Red light, green light. Writing texts in your notes. What? Why? I don't know. You, you could this? be dating someone or it could be an important message. No, I've you don't want to send it right away. Never done that. I think You've that's more of a female it. thing. I think it's a green, but it's also... You know if you're if, if you're dating someone and you're writing the text. Sorry, sorry, continue. If you're writing the text in your notes and it's for someone you're dating, it's, that's a red because then you know it's toxic vibes. Oh, fair thing. You've got to write what you're going to text and then wait to send it later. That's toxic. So toxic. paint me a picture. No, <laughs> no t- tell me the why. The entire podcast is, is just, just picture painting. Pictures. Yeah, 30 minutes of fucking one Well, anecdote. that's what, you know, the Mona Lisa is, and look how far that got. It's <laughs> a very good point. Thank you. They literally did paint a picture. Yeah. Now, who painted that? Fuck. Da Vinci? Oh, shit. She's good. This girl's got some fucking skills. She's a good kid, kid. Now, kid. Yeah. So so run me through an instant. So I've never done, never thought about doing that. Often, I think, yeah, I do <coughs> think it is more of a female. I've said that twice. This podcast is more of a female thing. Um, that if you're dating someone early stages and you don't want to send the text straight away, you will write it in your notes to then go back and send it a bit later. See so this, yeah. So this but was But you my- know if, it's, if it starts out and you're not writing your text in your notes, it's often... No, you can't actually. I can't even say that. I was going to say it's not toxic. Like it could either way. This was. This would be my way. if. So in any relationship I've been in, I will kind of refuse to fight over. I, I won't have a fight over text. Not necessarily fight. I mean, literally a, a, a standard text about what's happening in your day. Oh, people will write in their notes. I've done it. Oh, I thought you meant if you're having a stink, you pref- you you fucking can. Oh, cop- that happens too. But that'll get sent around eight different girl group chats. Oh, see, I wouldn't accept. And then there'll be four rounds of edits, and then there'll be citing at the end, and then it'll be sent to the professor for the professor to go over, and then it'll be sent back to you, and then it'll be sent to the boy. See, you know, if you put in all that work with me, I wouldn't respond to that. You just pick up the blower. I'd say if you want, you can't be having te- fight te- text because text you want to know the worst thing about tights, text fights. T- tell me, paint a picture for me, kid. This is <laughs> this is the text fights are. The worst. Read, read, read. Okay, break it down. How can I come back to that? How can I get a counterpoint to that? And then you'll concoct all your counterpoints. It's like, no, no, no. Because then it becomes, I think it becomes bullshit. It's like you should get on the phone, yarn about it. So it's not about concocting an argument. It's about getting to the bottom of what the issue is. 100%. And also you can't read tone through text. If I text you saying, morning, exclamation mark, you go, huh, who's got a pep in her step? If I just text you saying, morning, dot, you go, what's going on, (coughs) champion? I, I, I might not. Steph used to find full stops aggressive. Actually, one time I've been texting Steph and she goes, are you good or am I reading into this text or something? Yeah, dude, when we first started dating, she'd be like, "Um, so are we going to go to uh, this bar or that bar? And I'd be like, oh, I reckon we'll just go to fucking, we'll just go to that bar, full stop. And she'd write back like, full stop, whoa. That's 100% a characteristic of an anxious mind. 100%. 100%. Well, now we've got a um, the shoe, psychologist. The shoe fits, kid. Now we've got a psychologist. We've had we've had a, we've had doc- doctorates from the Cleveland Clinic. Now we've got psychologist Willie in the corner. Psycho Willie. Read us um <laughs> read us the But att- yeah, that's what, you know. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a fu- it's fucking grammar. But if you put an exclamation mark, it'd be like, "Woo, you're excited." Yeah. I've yeah. never speaking of I don't think you've ever sent me an exclamation mark unless it's like taking the piss. 
you know, we would do like 40 in a row. I don't think you'd ever just go, can't wait, see you tomorrow, exclamation mark. I'd be like, that's weird. Ugh. Yeah. Would that be an ick? From you, yes. Is that right? Not that I can get ick. Well, I guess I could get X from the Guzzy Go Hunter. Yeah, I think icks aren't, uh, they're not beholden to people who are just dating. I think you could get X from any, any cunt. True. You know what I mean? True. Yes, like, I, I, I actually apologise for what I just said because there's plenty of times I've had the ick from you. So you've apologised for what you've said and then you've called me an ick monster. You've apologised. Yes. You've apologised and then insulted me. Yes. It's an interesting tactic. Yep. You just so run me through some of the. You just go. Run me through some of the the eggs, bud. It, honestly, we don't have enough time. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got we got to, how much bash is these fucking cameras got, mate? Heaps. These mics Plenty all good. Time. Four days worth. These mics all good. Plenty of time, kid. That TV plugged in. <laughs> Four days worth. Sounds like we got time, kid. We just do a, a forty-five hour episode. Me just rattling off. <laughs> Key, no, no, our next Instagram post is Lou and Judge have decided to part ways from the Wee Man World podcast. And it's just one of those <laughs> photos of us and it's got a like break down yeah, the middle, like a yeah, heart. Yeah. <coughs> oh, um, give me one, kid. Look, I probably have. Oh, look, I probably have. You know? Yeah, you have. Well, tell me. Well, I can't think off the top of my head, but just uh, uh, the you know aura that says about to me? you. You know that says to me? I haven't eaten too much. Oh, I can give you one. Okay. Uh, when you fucking shadow box at the stadium, it's disgusting. That's that's fair. I'll like cop that disgusting. on the. I'll cop that on the lack of chin. It's really gross. But I don't. Sh- sorry, sorry. Let me clarify here. I don't shadow box. I, yeah, I hit a heavy you, bag. You hop off the bag, and you you shadow reset. a bit. No, no, I reset. No, I've seen you sort of. Uh, uh. Get the fuck on, Lou. You have now, little, Don't lie just because you do it's this fun. little. Uh, uh. Jarch goes. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. And then he goes. Uh, 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 uh. It actually probably looks like what I, it is to, for me to dance. Get up, do a dance. Not a chance. Uh, I always dance for you. I know, but you're a dancer. Thank you. No. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, did everyone hear that? <laughs> no. Tobler, you still here? We're, I've marked it down. So. Headphones in. No, when I say you're a dancer, I simply mean no, you, you, said I'm very you good choose at dancing. to dance. You said I'm very good at dancing. I heard those exact words. Jarch said, Louisa Claire Dalden is very good at dancing. Write that down, Willie. Bed, bedwetters. I've already got it down. Bedwetters. What you've just seen is me lay a beautifully crafted trap. We just got an insight into the world of Louisa Dalton and why she thinks she's good at everything. I said to her, you're a dancer. She's taken that as, you said I'm very good at dancing, I'm a very good dancer. She's then proceeded to state that she's a very good dancer. Stop which saying leads I'm a good me, dancer. Which leads me to believe. It's okay, I get it. Her mum said once, oh, you were singing this morning, Louisa Dalton. Went through her computer, filtered out what she didn't want, took what she did. Then she thought, my mum just told me I'm a tremendous fucking singer. And you live with that for the, until and you're 30 the years old. And that's the reason I'm the way that I am. Correct. So, and we wouldn't change a thing about that, would we? Wouldn't change a thing about you except heaps of things. So what I really liked about that as well, it completely distracted you from the fact you wanted to, him to get up and dance. <laughs> Damn it. Get up and dance. You shut your mouth, Willie. Get up and dance. Not a chance. Just show me what you do at the clubs. I don't go to clubs. Well, if you were to We just had Lucy and Nikki. They tried to do a dance TikTok and, and what did I do? Fingers. I said, absolutely not. Okay. Let me paint a picture. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> You're at the cinema. Yeah. Everyone's cleared out. You've had your guzzy go. The guzzy go hunter's full. Mm. Daddy's, daddy's full. Okay. Sorry. Let me clarify. Clarify that. Your daddy, by the yeah, way. Thank you. The credits are going. There's a little song playing. It's a country song. Daddy's toe starts tapping. <laughs> Daddy looks around. There's not anyone in the cinema. You go, this is thrusting through my body. Oh, my God. So you get up on your way out, just a small 10-second boogie on your own. What are you doing? Get up, kid. Stage is yours. All right. I'll show you what I do. What Exactly what I do. Okay, Jarch is doing a little shoulder shimmy. He's doing a little shoulder shimmy. Oh, so he did this shoulder shimmy and he walked off. Right. So he's he is the Grinch of the cinema. I'm the Grinch. You are the Guzzy Guzzy Go Hunter Grinch. <laughs> the 
Who's going to go Hunter Grinch? Not to be, you'll only catch me dancing in one in probably eight weddings, and I've got to be fucked on rum. Do you not even go to the D floor on a wedding? Fuck no. You're the Grinch of the world. No, no, no. People are enjoy. I'm out with my mates spinning yarns, having fucking... Oh, who would want to be stuck in one of those with you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, you know what they say about dancing at weddings? <sighs> the, be- the more time... You find out the the calmer the the calmer the the calmer the tune, the better the time, the better fun they'll get. They'll get it. It was beautiful. Write that one down, Willie. That's a good. Get that on merch. Speaking of you, you, me doing finding a little country tune in the fucking Mm -hmm. pictures, you know, fucking whatever. Yeah, so you're right. Red light, green light. Mm. Beyonce doing country. Green. You can branch out. I think you can branch. I think she's taking advantage of a popular piece of a popular time. I think in country music, there's a lot about authenticity. I don't think the songs are good, or the song. Are they out? Yeah. I'd like to hear it. And they're trending and shit. Well, because this is a po- this is an audio. Well, platform. she's from Texas, right? So she's she's Texas. I no, I don't dispute. Let's play it. This is an no, audio platform. No, we get platform. copyright stuff. Not even just a snip. We'll get infringement. Mm. We've done that before, and they've taken that shit off. Um, I think when we did that Yale name, they took it off YouTube. That what name? That I'm a new soul. Oh. They took it off, so we can't. Okay. But I don't think, I think it's, you, dude, do it. who gives a fuck? You can do whatever you want. I just, I just think it's cheap. I'm going to listen to it on the way home. Well, I think it's smart. I think she's, it is. She's, she's going to what's on trend. Yeah, capitalising on the trend, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, Country music's hot prop at the moment. Yeah, that's what I told you. You're a little basic bitch, aren't you? Sorry? You're a little basic bitch, aren't you? You dotheth better watch your fucking mouth. Hey, the Guzzy Go Hunter doesn't get angry. It's the name of the podcast. <laughs> the Guzzy Go, Go Hunter. It's <laughs> so dumb. We My are Lord. entertained by anything. Yeah. But it I, turns it, out so are you, Bedwetter, yeah. so you fucking miss me with that shit. So it is what it is and you fucking die. It is what it's what not it is in my fucking die. wheelhouse. Not in my wheelie. You know? Tell but you what's not in my wheelhouse. Dancing. If I'm dancing with you, know that I'm not there mentally. Know that that's blackout me. That's me blacked out. Would there be something the bedwetters could do to get you to dance? Maybe grind in the corner, like or something? a choreographed dance. I reckon. Willie, I like where you're going. Really going to need you to shut the fuck up on this. Hey, stuff. you don't speak to our producer like that. <laughs> I like where you're going with this, Willie. <laughs> bedwetters, DM us what you'd what you'd like Jarch to to do to dance. Oh, this sounds like there's. No, I think t- you guys set the parameters. The bedwetters have to. I don't know. Maybe a certain oh, amount yes. of likes on something. A certain amount of something to God, get judged. Smart. To oh, all right, to bump we'll post and grind. it as a video. If it gets two hundred comments, Jarch will do a choreographed dance. Hold on. D- 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 hold on. <laughs> two hundred fucking comments. Yeah. Miss me with that shit. Hey, you're not that popular, champion. We have got way more than two hundred comments on yep. shit. Two hundred comments, bedwetters, and Jarch will do a choreographed dance next episode. I will not do a choreographed dance. We're sending Jarch to a dance class. Jarch is going to a dance class. Write it down, <laughs> Willie. Jarch is going to a jazz class next week or hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That would be fucked. Yep. I'll come with you. But this We're is going di- to a dance class. This is different because you actually wanted to become a no, singer. I, I don't want to become a dancer. I'm going to tell me you to something. A, um, I'm actually not that good at dancing. I know I said before that I was. I'm actually not. So even me coming to the dance class with you will be awkward. Okay. We're doing a dance class next week, kids. Jachi and Lou, take the jazz studio. This actually will really embarrass Perfect. me. Perfect. We've found one. <coughs> oh, dude. Should I- we do ballroom dancing? That could be fun. Wouldn't be as wouldn't be as funny. What about line dancing? Line dancing, I will do. Will you? Correct, mm. Louisa. Now right. You just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> now, I will. But I feel like it's got to be like hip hop or yeah, something. Yeah, we'll like. go to a hip hop one. There's this move My that I remember. My sister-in-law did hip hop dancing. Get great. With Talia, shout Perfect. out to both of them. Perfect. Shout out. Because well, think of dance. us doing that. Because line dancing, you, we'll we'll probably yeah. be we'll get it. Oh no, we're doing hip hop. <laughs> hip hop, we can't dance. Well, we go- <laughs> oh. yuck, yuck! All right, Judge. I'm gonna have going the to biggest sweat pack. Just walking into that class, I'll be so fucking Fuck anxious it, and uh, Why did we not think of this earlier? This is great. I don't know if I've ever really let out my 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 fear of dancing. Not fear, just like hatred of it. I think it's a fear. I don't know face a- your fear. 
I just think I'm just not good at dancing. What's hey, the, we don't use those words on this podcast. All we we, we say, do all the time, buddy. All we say is we're really good at things. No, no, well, you do, but, well, Budzo. Okay. Self-support and self-love. Fuck me, dude. Get the hotline up. Oh, no, you're doing it. Oh, fuck, dude. Yes. This is so much cooler. Yeah. I haven't heard them. Now you get, well. Well, look at that dragonfly. Judge, you, you just said I haven't heard them. When have you ever heard them beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great yeah. point. That yeah. is such a good point, actually. Yeah. I'd never prep for this. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That was the dumbest thing I've ever said. Yep. Except when I said that you were a dancer. Whoa. That was whoa, fucking dumb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, hit us with this hot stuff. Let's see what we got. I'm a new soul dancer. Sorry. Buddy. Sorry. Bud's I out. actually apologise. You ready? Yep. Hello, senoritas. Hi, senorita. Just listening to the latest uh, podcast. And Lou, about the fucking crepe sprite, has said that um, I, I fucking cooked it, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, Lou said that the fucking, oh, do you know what's good on crepes? Nutella. Do you know what? Willie fucking said that literally a minute earlier and nothing shits me more than when you fucking say something and no one fucking hears it and then one of your friends goes, oh, do you know what? So, Willie, do better. That is Anyways, love you both. Love Steps you, on the Willie to get myself some dinner and catch myself some five finger discounts because I'm fucking broke. <laughs> love you, sorry. I love just admitting to going to steal. Sorry. Just going to steal shit. We do not encourage that, Bed Willie. <coughs> Wait, we don't. Willie, I'm so sorry. Did you say Nutella and I just completely disregarded you? Yeah, I said Nutella and strawberries. That is no, hilarious. I thought you said cream and strawberries. I'm sorry. I apologise for that. She, That's rude. Hey, she didn't, kid. I am apologising right now. She heard you flat up. Remember? No. It's remember, your podcast, kid. Yeah, kid. Remember when I said, I apologise. I apologise. Yeah, only one. I will not apologise to the room. I'll apologise. <laughs> and that will be it. Doth it once and only once. <laughs> oh, man. She she was good. I liked yeah, her. No more stealing, though, please. Not a Yeah, no thieving. Ancho. You're not listening to Doth Ancho. Ancho. Now, there was one problem uh, with that. Yeah, run me through it. He was definitely on speakerphone. That was the problem. Yep. <laughs> hey, at least he didn't say something. <coughs> he just said, hey, Lou. Great, he said hello to you. I'll take it. He didn't say something mean. Mate, he said hello to you. He acknowledged you he as a human. could have said something nicer, though. Fucking hell. I think he used up all his compliments on me. Stop being nicer, How would you know I was a good licker, mate? Oh, is that what he said? Good licking. He said good looking, good licking, good sum. I'm talking ice cream. You'd hope so. Super Dolce from Messina. Yum. Yeah, cunt. Um, <laughs> fucking Lulu. Job on the uh, job on the run. Fucking good eggs. And Judge, your fucking chest. Oh. Uh, fucking hell. <laughs> Guys, I've said it once and I'll say it again. <coughs> Off speakerphone, phone to your ear, not in your ear pods. Ah, uh, mate, you. Off. Bed weathers, just know I'm the cool dad. You do whatever the fuck you want. No. Yeah. Now, hold on. That reminded me of something. What? The other night we met a bed wetter that had crashed while listening to us. It wasn't the other night, it was the other morning when we had that meeting in Piermont. Correct. We met one of the bedwitters who crashed. While, while they were listening. Hey, shout out to you, doll. Which seems to happen a lot. I reckon we've had eight. Oh, well, it sounds like he was in the midst of one. Yeah. Sorry, mate. But yeah, the chest is fucking annoying, mate. Trust me, I'm, mm. I'm with you, bud. This one came in like 14 minutes ago. Love that. Great. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and that was it. Yeah, Should I love we call, that. call him back? I love that. Call him back. You prank him. Okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. I've got a character. Duke John. <laughs> Duke John. <laughs> Please answer. Uh. 
G'day, mate. Um, it's Tony from Australian Zaras. Just calling you up about doing the survey about Australia. Just had a quick few questions for you. So if you could call me back on 0434326423. Three, four, three, four, three, two. Just a few quick questions about Australia for you. Um, thanks, mate. Talk, call to you later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Imagine getting that voice <coughs> message And then trying to call that number oh, back You're a good kid, kid Our kids, you hell of, your kids Yeah, you, you, you good little goosey go hunter kids You bedwetters, you keep pissing, won't you? We love you guys and mwah, mwah, and so love you and, Love yous And always dance, dance like no one's watching Fun app, hooroo bedwetters It was, bye <laughs>